Hi everyone, uh, it's me again, and I just want to give you a brief tour of this course so that you know where everything is and how to get around and uh, are just familiar with, with the course as it's laid out. So this is the landing page, it's what's referred to as the home page. Uh, what you will find is under course announcements, this area will update regularly and it'll post kind of what's going on in the course, what you need to know, uh, if there's been any changes, that kind of thing. Over to the right here, right now we have the course orientation video, but regularly I will fill this with video, the whatever video um, that I've made that's from the particular module that, we are, that we're on. So when we get to module 2, this will have a video from module 2, and it's just a way of, you know, when you come into the course to see some fresh content. Um, I'll scroll down and it, down further here is your grades and this will give you a sense of where you are with different assignments and right now it's empty because of course nothing has nothing is due and there's no no material um, and then this gives you your activity at a glance so this shows you in this case for me it shows you know I've been very active in this course obviously I've been creating it designing it sending out emails all of those kind of things so this is just the main page to kind of get a sense of what's going on. On the left here are some important buttons to be aware of. The course is, this is your map, and you can get to anywhere in the course just by clicking um, around here and say you maybe want to go to module one, and then you want to go to, you know, the getting started notes. It's really just your way of quickly accessing before you actually go there. Um, but you can get access to anything in the course. If you click on what's new, this will tell you what's been added and you can change this date so you can say since the last time I logged on um, you know what this will be populated with new things so if there's new discussion posts if there's if you get graded assignments back this is where you'd want to go to kind of get all that so I can click on what's new or I can click on content and it'll show me all the different things that have been added since I last logged on tasks will give me any particular tasks in this case usually it'll be in the form of uh, email and then the search button is nice because it allows me to search different material within the course. So I can search for some content that I remember seeing, but I can't remember where it is. So this is the main page. Uh, the calendar will be populated with different events within the course, and it will also populate on your calendar on your home page in Angel. As I've said before, lessons is where the grunt is where the much of the material and work is to be done. And I'm just going to close this. And this is something nice to know. You might have an arrow here, or it might be a bar, but you can minimize that so you have more screen. You can also do up in the right-hand corner here and hide the banner. So if you want more real estate in front of you, more of the course content, you can really widen up the screen that way. But once you come into the course, as I said, lessons is where you're going to be doing much of your work and you want to go into getting started uh, and really kind of work through this material in that first week. About the instructor, that's about me. You can learn about who I am, where I'm from, um, recommendations, all of that kind of stuff. Course material, this is where all the important material about the course is, things you need to know, things that are important, guidelines, um, video playlists, those kind of things. And then learning modules is, of course, where all of the modules, uh, each of the weekly modules are. Assignments, uh, here's just a quick line listing. So if you want to come in and quickly get to the popular culture event um, selection, you can get in really quick to do that or for any of these major assignments. The questions form, please make sure you use the questions form. It is there for you so that if you have a question about something and you want to ask, you know, it, it, you just want to get a get an answer, maybe you don't want to email me or you're in the course and this is just easier. One thing I would note about the questions form is that you can post anonymously. So if you're uncomfortable talking, you know, asking the question, you're afraid it's one of those, you know, stupid questions, there are no stupid questions, but if in case you are afraid of how it's going to be perceived, you can come into the questions form, click on new post, you know, fill out the post title, which is this area here, ask your question in this box, and under advanced messages, if you click this little plus sign, you can click on post as an anonymous message. So you can post it and I'll let you know I, I do respond to these pretty quickly within 24 hours just like other correspondents and 
I won't be able to know who it is. So if you're not sure, you don't want to, you know, ask that question directly, you can ask it anonymously. Other things in the course to just be aware of, um, you know, as you go into these different, right now only module two is open, so you can go in and you can start looking at the material there. Um, and this is pretty much the layout, the topics, objectives, the instructor's thoughts, some kind of mini lecture, readings and assignments, direct discussion, open discussion, and any other assignments that might be in the course. Now I very quickly want to expand this and I want to show you Communicate is another place where if you want to send internal email or if you want to find you know all the current open discussions uh, boards, this is where you can do that. And finally, Report. Report is an important one because you can run a grade report on yourself, which if you want to find out what all of your grades are in this course that have been graded thus far, you would go in and you would click on Grades and you would hit run. Now of course right now I'm failing because I have there's nothing been nothing passed in and so therefore I, there's no grades to account for. Um, don't be thrown off by that. What you want to pay attention to is the assignments that have been graded and what your grades are. So that's what you should be looking for and being paying attention to. All right, that is the tour of the course. Uh, if you have additional questions, by all means, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you online. Thank you.